way to sub. Thank you, Riley DDD, yeah. coming yeah. through with that sub. We appreciate you with that prime. Uh, you know what also, you learn, my friend? You learn hmm. how to feel pain. You learn it's how to cope. You, this is this this is all just one coping strategy. <laughs> After the next, guys, game number one, losers finals, are uh, going up against Sinji. I will forever curse off of having that tag, making our lives just a little bit more difficult. The, wow. the real friends was the pain we made along the way. <laughs> Here we go. Um, I, okay, if I'm clipping a little bit, my bad. I've got to screw it into my mic with the pain that I'm experiencing. And thank you for all these follows we're getting, by the way. This is kind of awesome. So here in game number one, like we said before, it's, it's just one of those things where I don't know, honestly, how to pinpoint who could definitely win the matchup because it's really all about who better manages the resources and who's better at controlling the traps for sure um and right now just us you know taking the time to get a couple of resources not paying too mind to sinji's high recovery i do like the way that sinji is opting to go high because honestly um you can really make the most out of the fact that steve has really limited mobility you can land on him a lot easier than um you know you can try to get back to stage against him his ledge trapping is phenomenal his ability to catch you on your landings with movement mix-ups not so much yeah i think a majority of the ko options from uh, uh in this set are actually gonna come in center stage because i keep trying to think what in the world would make sinji want to like get off ledge quickly against uh and wow that okay i didn't expect that to actually take him out up there but that ended up beating out the minecraft uh the minecart yeah oh and wow sinji able to convert off of the key able to get a very solid 27 percent now taking the time just to jump between the town city platforms already understanding the response so comfortable with the walls and getting a hydrant out of the galaxian Wow, Sinji, Sinji of the Galaxian, honestly, one of the most terrifying beasts known to mankind. He just has... <gasps> yeah, I think I think the only thing that's going to establish fear in the same way that it is with that Galaxian is exactly that. Having the diamond weapons and having that KO potential is what's going to keep this game even. Because I think that Uh is going to take a tremendous amount more damage throughout the set compared to Sinji. But I think that the KO power is always in Uh's favor between that minecart and that diamond weapon. Yeah, for sure. Um, right now, uh, once again, you're sort of taking the time to play back a little bit, swinging through the fences, but not going to be exposed uh, with the bell quite yet. Um, you know, like when you start doing that, you leave yourself so vulnerable. Sinji actually able to jump out of the up smash. Um, it might have been a little bit too late to try to link those up tilts. I just realized this, this matchup is actually one where you literally never want to be directly below the opponent. Usually, you always don't want to be above somebody. But with these two, you got the fire hydrant and you have to deal with the fact that there's uh, the anchors, the, the anvils that dropped down too. So they both have to play that bait game to punish somebody on landing. And thank you, UBL, for the sub renewal for 16 months. Been around forever. Yeah, for sure. Yo, Steve, Steve with Bell is somehow even more terrifying in some ways than, than Pac-Man is because, wow, I feel his uh, F smash, you know, like I do nothing else, but you have to be ready to be able to react to that. You can't tunnel vision into whatever else you're doing into the moment. Um, Keith, especially from across the stage, you can just look at Pac-Man throwing it at you and just get your shield out nice and ready beforehand. Um, I like the way that Sinji is respecting Anvil on his shield as well, not really taking the bait. I think you pinpointed 100% what you cannot do in this match. Tunnel visioning is is just asking to lose because both of these characters just punished you so hard for falling asleep at the wheel, just kind of forgetting, oh, right, they're setting up, they're setting up the mix-up. I'm too focused on them having Galaxian in hand. And then next thing you know, you get caught by the jump read that they were looking for the entire time. I what like doing? the way that I was creating a little bit of space for themselves because of the way that they placed around these blocks. It means if Galaxian's going to be there, look at that. Just get stopped in the tracks immediately as soon as it gets hit by it. Um, it just makes all this impenetrable space for Galaxian not to be able to do what it does best. And these down tilts just working so well. But Sinji, I think actually armoring through one of those multi hits. Yeah, it was the very, uh, the, the very last one there. That armor came through, and that armor don't do a damn thing if it ain't started up underneath an anvil. That is another stock gone. Um, honestly, it, like, all right, I'm, I'm pretty tired of seeing Mario Maker. Stop stop jumping around all over the place. <laughs> it's just one of the best things to do against Sinji. You don't want to approach him. It, you don't want to approach him. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to be a fluid Galaxian. Go put up a block. You know, what's, what's Galaxian going to do at a block? It's going to stop dead in the water. It's going to hit it, it's going to bonk, and it's going to disappear. So I love the way that Assembly has been able to do that. 
great coverage using those blocks as well. But Sinji needs to find more vertical angles for um, some of his projectiles to be able to get on top of up. Ooh, uh, is extremely ballsy for that one, driving the up B directly in front of Sinji and not getting hit by the apple, but, like, uh, th one of the things with this matchup that I'm noticing is normally it's kind of like a big game of rock, paper, scissors. When you play against somebody who, oh, you're so lucky that water came in and stopped because he could have possibly gotten another forward air. I don't know if it would have KO'd, but that would have been a really good position. Who showed Oh, Sinji trying to maybe catch a landing onto the platform, so of establishing his own bit of a 50-50 there, but uh, staying on top of it, staying on point. Do you know what happened there? Because I feel like there's like a few interactions too many for me to follow. I want to know who's paying for all these resources. Like, who has the money to support this match right here? Just throwing out all these fire hydrants, throwing out all these anvils, and you have to respect every once of uh, Look how much Iron uh, has. That's unlimited minecart, that's unlimited yeah. anvils, but that's going to be the bell into the back here, and that's going to be Sinji taking game one for himself. That is, like, all you need is just that one mishap that one mistake the bell covers so many different options especially when you're trying to run around and sinji has been trying to find the answer to the like the build a block placements that he's been doing this entire time off stage the bell finally solved it he knew he was gonna jump right there and covered it mm -hmm. yeah um at the end of the day i feel like sinji this game was just able to find those kills a little bit easier than uh um, Sinji did a good job of avoiding a lot of down tilts at ledge, especially uh, going high with some of his recoveries. That's not a privilege that Steve necessarily always has, depending on what resources he does have available to him. Um, this interaction right here, uh, I just, I'm just thinking about it honestly. How many different techs and ugh, it just, it just didn't like, sit okay. That's what I was saying before with the whole rock paper scissors thing, right? A majority of Smash is just a big game of rock paper scissors, guessing the right option to beat out maybe one to two. In this matchup, though, you have to look for when a set, when uh might just go for a, a, to build a new path, when Sinji might pull the trigger on a fire hydrant setup, and also just guessing correctly on what resource might be what kills you next. Like, it, it, the amount of brain power that's necessary in this, I just want to hit buttons. Or these two are sitting there building houses. Yeah, for sure. Going into the next game, I don't know how, I don't know what it's going to be, but Uh has to be able to find those kill confirms a little bit easier for themselves. They haven't been able to find any of those command kills. They haven't been able to find any of like those low percent up tilts either. Um, you know, the only one that we saw stop dead in the water. Galaxian just does a good job of denying all of that. That is a really good counter approach tool overall. It's just like it covers so much. It's the, it potentially stops the idea of wanting to use minecart. And also, it, like, <laughs> that's actually really smart. Using the wall to bounce against it so you can just get the re-grab, so you can either go for Z-drops or the hits. Both of them, like, once again, just holding onto their own sides of the stage, taking a little bit of time to get their tools. Nice and ready. Man, I feel like a lot of these situations are just kind of like refreshes on what happened last time with only very small adjustments to the spacing, right? Because they're yep. both looking for very specific things. Um, they both want the follow-ups, but if they get a little bit too greedy with it, they can kind of blow one another up for it. Nobody seems too intent on initiating. That's the thing when it comes to trap-based meta characters. You just, you, you can't, you can't be the one. He who pulls the trigger first loses. You, you, you have to make sure that you're the one getting them to budge. And, <laughs> and as annoying as it is to fight, it, it's really the best way to approach the matchup. Because otherwise, much like the Sinji versus Numbers set we said before, you just get blown up. For sure, and right now Sinji going immediately to ledge, recognizing that Odd uh, did not have enough time to be able to set up the anvil too for him. Trying to catch a preemptive jump, gonna be going through the plank though, and now, ooh, that's a hydrant in a really menacing spot. Sinji just had the right idea, just cover the vertical space. Doesn't matter if Odd uh, went high or low, hydrant would cover it all the same. Yeah, look at it. See, <laughs> both both players walk away with a W there. Like, yeah, a, a probably gets a lot more out of it, but Sinji still gets potential kill set up. So even if a decides to mine, Sinji's like, all right, fine, I'll chill over here too. We got six minutes to play. I'm perfectly content with that. Right now, just Sinji like dashing back and forth. Whenever whenever he ch starts to do that a little bit. Um, he just tries to condition his shield and see what you do immediately out of it. Gets the bell into the hydrant, and the hydrant just bouncing off the walls. Oh boy, this could be big. 
Oh my god, somebody kill someone! It's still... <laughs> we have 4 minutes, 45 seconds. There's still no stock on. Finally, a KO comes in. I cursed it into existence. There we go. <laughs> and now we're going to be seeing all with the lead for the first time in the set so far. Since you're going to be priming the Hydrant with the dash attack and then finishes off. But uh just keeping to his own corner, taking resources, you know, not having to worry about a single projectile in his life. He's having a time of his life, man. Look at him go. Yeah. He's doing his thing. <laughs> he really is just vibing, just walking around with those up tilts, just being able to find that pressure. And now these air-to-air -air trades with stuff like the down air is working so well because it's making Sinji have to go in. Mm -hmm. And that 50-50 with the just the projectile command grab thing I hate saying out loud so much. It's just so good at controlling Whoa, Sinji. What's wrong with projectile command grab that you can act them out of and get spikes and up smashes out of? What's the issue? I, I, will, I don't see the problem. I, I will find yeah. a way to turn off your microphone <laughs> <laughs> but seriously it's such a good tool it's so good at counter camping and you just got to utilize it every single time uh and also Sinji just missing an opportunity i don't think that was really set up i, I mean see hey. the way that the hydrogen just <laughs> take bugs hidden missiles that's marvel <laughs> that, that, that fire hydrant just finding its way in there to get that ko <laughs> Uh, and that's what Sinji does best, and just like that with one Galaxian, does 38%, evens it up just a little bit. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is a clown fiesta, man. It just doesn't stop. This is comical. It is so comical because, like, again, usually a majority of what you're looking for in try- Oh, that's a hefty punish. Okay, uh, but usually what you're trying to look for is trying to find the openings because most of the time, like, someone's neutral game is heavily reliant on, like, one to two different approaches, but these- these characters don't have to do that. They can just set up 20 traps. To <laughs> Look, my funny scarf says, uh, as he puts up like 30 blocks and it just goes to the other side and just mines for resources. Like this is, this is like, it's, it's, it's interesting. Like how different the, the sense of neutral is here compared to any other matchup. Waka waka. <laughs> here we go back here. It's gonna finally find that KO too. Uh, keeps finding the KO first. Sinji realizes, okay, I probably have to go in to find this bell KO there. And it misses it though and doesn't get the follow up and the platform gets out of it so he can't keep the pressure up. It's it's not often that you do see like Sinji start to kind of drop those a little bit. And wow, again, uh, I love the block placements. He's so big, <laughs> almost finding the reverse side B out of the bell. That was so that cute. Was... I love the attempt. That was so good because you forced the air dodge there because you see it come in after the bell hit, so you assume it's gonna come right away. And then almost covers the air dodge after. It didn't hit, unfortunately, because I would have loved to see that KO, but now uh knows about that setup, so he's probably not gonna get fall, uh, fall for it next time. Well, um, there's very little that like, they're just not interacting a whole lot, you know? But all right now, just taking the opportunity to go in a little bit. They get a little bit too antsy, find themselves eating a bell, but no punish on Sinji's behalf. Excellent out of shield punish from uh, Sinji, just looking through anyway back onto center stage, but just struggling to find it. Oh, the fire hydrant finding its way over the top there too, just to get it so to get in on a uh, but We are approaching the one minute and we are past the one minute, 20 seconds mark. It is currently 54% on Sinji, and he has to find a KO ASAP because the damage that you can already see it right there, it just racks up so fast yeah. when Minecraft Steve gets in. This is starting to look very troublesome for Sinji. For sure. Right now, us doing anything that they can to stall the landings, block and anvil mix ups, forcing the opponent to dash back. Otherwise, they're going to be eating so much damage. That block actually ending up ping ponging uh, back to the center stage. F tilt not going to be able to do it quite yet. This could be the setup right here, but Sinji, uh, they missed the Ooh. first falling up, but still found a way to clean it up. Still okay. doable. If you ever wanted to make a damage back, this is how you do it. Have Galaga in hand, 57%, 57. looking 57. for the high recovery. We have 30 yeah. seconds left. This is still very much doable for Sinji. Oh, has to play super careful, and that is how you do it. Catching him with the down air if we're trying to go after him. I'm so that hungry. is game number two. <laughs> <laughs> Going into game number three, we have, I don't know, <laughs> I, I don't have an answer <laughs> as to what the follow-ups will be for Cindy to try and change the way that game went. I'm so tired, man. Like, 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 I feel like all these matches are just starting to blend into themselves, you know? They, they, they all have something happening in them that just like, wow. That's, that's a standout moment 
from, from that match, but... <sighs> and you know what? I, I still... At the end of the day... Oh my god, that, that's so That funny. Hydrogen kill sent me. It just, it just bounced back and forth. And I bounced got you, up. homie. I'm gonna help. We're gonna get this done. But it's like it's bong bong bodied. <laughs> All right. So, I mean, again, I maybe, maybe Vanilla Doc. I don't know. <laughs> but, like, it's still a testament, mm -hmm. it must always be said, to the incredible defense that these two have. Because, really, as much as I can make a joke about it, at the end of the day, are you going to be the one to just run in on Sinji? Or are you going to be the one to just try and run in on Steve? Yeah, maybe, but you're probably going to take a lot of damage for it. it. It's just so hard to make that right choice when you don't necessarily have all the best burst options. Yeah, both of these characters, you know how they win the game? By not interacting with one another. They've been, you know, they've just been keeping to themselves playing their own game, fishing for their own little things, and then as soon as somebody commits, they explode. So why why would you commit? If you commit, you get hit, baby. 100%. All right, I'm getting into this. I'm going to hype up every single build a block moment that they decide to do as this off on freaking arts and crafts in fifth grade. Look at how he's mining. Look at that block he's putting up. And then he puts up a fire hydrant. This picture's looking beautiful. You're getting right into it here on FD in game number three. Sinji, oh my god, Sinji has caused you to lose it. <laughs> Guys, press one chat if you feel bad for Ajax. I know, don't feel, don't feel bad for me, I'm having a blast, look at him. He's fighting his way around, putting around anvils, who drew that on the map? Look at these 8-bit pixel art, baby, this is looking beautiful. Well, <laughs> I mean, we just kind of, I, I don't even have any words for what's happening anymore. The idea is you embrace the chaos because we can only do so much. Here we go though. He's got the melon in hand, therefore Sinji actually can't set up and he can just Oh my Listen, god. Listen, it's it's beat him with join Wait. so so I guess we just have to join him at this point. Wait, I think it's I think I'll just figure out how to win this matchup. Just completely get rid of fruit and there's not a single thing Sinji can do about it. I'm so tired. Oh got my god, he, he got it back! Sinji can play the game again! He's got yeah. the net. But yeah, obviously, like, catching the food is just amazing counter play against Sinji. A lot of his neutral and a lot of the damage that he's been getting has been off of Galaxian. So as soon as you invalidate that, not even necessarily using his own food against him, but ah! taking... How did he miss? How did he miss? That could have been a KO! We could have had a KO already! And here we go, they're looking for the ledge trap. So, actually, that was actually the smartest thing he could have done, crazy enough, that up he actually avoided the bell trap. Oh, man. Okay, so Sinji has to get back on the stage against Downsfield. No easy feat. Uh, trying to find a two frame with the anvil. Not able to fight it quite yet. Um... I, I know Oh wants to pick up. I know he wants it so badly. As soon as he picks it up, oh man, Sinji got nothing left. Yeah, it's, if he could get that away, we saw there was literally nothing Sinji could do before. Once it was gone, tries to go for a back air read on the jump and just does not get it. Looking for the high recovery punish, you see Sinji starting to get a bit of a timing on those minecarts in the back though still is not going to do it. But can Sinji get the trap here at the ledge? Nope, because this is one of the few characters that can actually plank and get away with it. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh, but that is such a dangerous position for us uh, to be in and still finds the way back onto the opposite side of the stage. So much comfort with the going ahead that still ends up eating a hydrant. Uh, you know, keeping to themselves once again. That's Sinji with the Galaxian. He jumped up there. He was like the colossal titan looking over the wall with that Galaxian. He looked at him. He stared at uh, in the eyes and told him that he's going to just kill his family. He's so damn lucky that he didn't get hit bounced off the wall too, because that could have been so much more damage. And I'm uh, just, uh, just looking for an anti-air. I assume that there's going to be an anti-air on Smash coming up pretty soon because Sinji has approached vertically quite a bit trying to beat any air-to-air -air attempts from these. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see right there. He's looking for those Minecrafts, uh, the carts to come in and he's gonna beat him out with an up smash at some point there is the attempt right there he knew he was gonna try and do it but he ended up missing since you just once again just like making the most out of that hydrant it's such a good way to also stop cause in its tracks quite literally i'm um, not able to get it going anywhere did you see that position that since was stuck in literally between a rock and a hard place could not get past the hydrant was stuck in between the wall that was um mildly uncomfortable yeah uh, it's just 
I hate that he just creates his own new stage. <laughs> he get, gets the punish. There you go. Does he get it, though? Misses the up smash. Shinji just a little bit out of position to close that one out. And, oh, gets a second chance. Like, Shinji's just, like, jumping up and down. You know, just having the time of his life. I'm wondering what happens if the hydrogen disappears. Will the anvil still continue to fall? Which one will last longer than the other? Oh, my God. Won't be lasting much longer after that. Getting hit by that and getting hit by the forward smash is absolutely a great position for Sinji because, let's be real, when it comes to Sinji being able to force the approach, he usually comes out on top, and that's not... Oh my god, that shield pressure. Great job using that Uppy to get out of it. Yeah, Uppy was such an excellent, um, you know, getaway option. Uh, at that point, does not actually have enough time to be able to jump out um, or act autonomous, or, or act independently of the anvil. So from that position, yes, you can get consistent out of shield punishes on it. We've been seeing it all day against him. And right now, calling out the apple, getting a follow-up. And whoa, 62% already on the board. That was beautiful. And getting the landing with that back air too and controlling consistently where Ah wants to go. That is not at all what you want. I actually really like that idea of going for side B because I've said it, which means Sinji definitely noticed. He's mm -hmm. been looking for the attempt to get these anti-air up smashes or anti-air options and Sinji's just getting out of there. For sure. And that's going to be the bell into the up smash. And oh my god, Sinji taking the game without it being in the last minute? Humana, humana, humana. I, uh, wow. I, I think, I, 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 um, I don't know what to say. I mean, I feel like I just hit the, I just won the lottery. Like, <laughs> oh my God, we, we, we might, we might actually finish this. It might actually happen. Okay, so we're getting into the next game here. We got game number four, right at the two minute mark. So, uh, point I got, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you right now. Do you think this, this is gonna go to game five? Do you think this I, is gonna go to game five? I don't want to answer that. Do you think, what do you think? No, no, my question is, what do you think? What do you think? Do you think Sinji will win this? I don't want to answer it. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I feel it. Like, I feel okay. I'm gonna tell you right now. I I'm think gonna it's this going to game five. I'm, what? I think it's going to game five. I think it's going to game five too. <laughs> I'm willing to put twenty dollars that it's going to game five. As a matter of fact, that's that, I, I, that's how confident I am in this because they're definitely gonna let us off easy. You know. I. Uh, it's at this point. It's purely just. You know what? This top eight is it was never actually about them winning it was entirely about tormenting us the entire time there was just... the whole point is to spite us <laughs> i don't know what i did or what i said to either of them but you know it's... what so be it guys please support us I, I wasn't trying to leave I, 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 my chair wasn't slowly going away from uh -huh. the stream or moving my mic back to try and yeah sneak out. No, no, no 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 that wasn't me that wasn't you just that. you just you just like what well, um guys <laughs> We've been putting ourselves through this for so many hours. Guys, first and foremost, you should be following and supporting House of 3000. Devin has been sitting here all day, bringing to you guys an amazing production, especially all the TOs behind the scenes who you don't exactly get to see. Follow them on Twitch, on Twitter, on Facebook, um, everywhere that you do so. Please, if you have a Prime sub, make sure to drop it. Then, guys, you should be typing exclamation mark Maturino in the chat because you can't contribute more money to these amazing players. All you have to do is type exclamation mark Maturino, type in the coupon code, and you don't have to pay a single dime, and we get 50 cents. And all of this money is going immediately to top 12, which is an insane payout for a Wi-Fi tournament. And then, after you have made sure to do all of that, you should go on to follow my lovely, incredible co caster who has lost his mind and gotten it back like 10 times over the course of these past three sets, Ajax. You can follow him on Twitter, at Ajax underscore HQ. You can find him all across the internet. He's incredible. He's amazing. And the fact that um, um, he has the tolerance to, to sit here and, and do this, wow. For what is left of me, I, I I do it for the love of the game. I enjoy Xena, yep. I enjoy the crew, and I'm, I'm happy to see it. Honestly, I can't hate on anybody for uh, playing the way they're playing for when you got that much money on the line. And of course, reciprocating the same thing. Make sure that you go and follow Deramgar at every single social media outlet and Twitch and all social every type of content creation. We are getting into game number four in what is a stage that is definitely going to be beneficial to Steve. Like we said before, the resource management here is so much better because you get mm -hmm. a much different layout of mining than every other stage. For sure. Um, so I can't wait for this game uh, to be an us failure so that we can go to game five. It's inevitable, my friend. Um, <laughs> 
<laughs> right, no, uh, honestly, again, I, I, I will never hate on anybody playing to win because that's a lot For of money sure. on the line. That is a way to, you, you have to establish dominance on the defense when you play trap based characters. It's just, oh, it's just the nature of how they play. Uh, the sure. key factor is though. Look at all of these projectiles. <laughs> us just scrambling through their daily lives. They have a hydrant and an apple coming at them at mock speed. What do you do? Honestly, I just. I don't know. Like, you have to. Oh my god! Going for the second up smash. We've seen that a few times tonight, but that is such a great equalizer combo getting that damage on that quick. Wow. I'm just looking at all these block places and a hydrant just so you're pushing uh, all the way back, not giving him the opportunity to mine for any resources. I like the recovery mix ups from Sinji. This could be huge. Uh, has to fight his way back on, but minecart just gonna be basically a get out of jail free card. Yeah, that minecart is just, it really has just been that, that get out of jail option all night. It, it's the best way to avoid any traps that Sinji goes for. It's, uh, it, it forces Sinji to have to respect them to the point where he can't shield all the time, and that KO power coming in clutch with that back air to take the first stock. Wow. Um, and Oz already looking so confident this game. They took like a little bit of a breather. They took a little bit of time for themselves. Now, wow, uh, maneuvered himself so well, but still ended up not properly accounting for the distance that Bell does end up indeed traveling. Once again, just going through all of these plank attempts, but Sinji is ready to two frame with the apple. Such a menacing tool. You see, uh, just trying to like just hold his ground, hiding underneath. That's like I don't need to approach him. You're dead. <laughs> you can wow. only hide for so long before that bell finds its way to you. And it's no like a freaking horror credit. movie flick. No extra credit. You know, Sinji just said, "Hey, you have a leap." Uh, too bad because it's not going anywhere else. Was able to quickly even it back up, but uh, needs to be a little bit tighter with some of these up tilts. You know, Sinji just keeps on finding his escapes out of them. You know, whoever needs to watch Promise Everland or Attack on Titan, when you go watch this set, like, if you ever want to get afraid, just watch these two play the entire time. It's just yeah. so Every single choice that you make is potentially massive damage <laughs> off of one mistake. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. It's like Sinji just pressuring us so much. Look at the way that he scaled him. He had a, he had a spaceship and a 500 and, like, some mutant, you know, little ball just, like, sort of attacking him all at once. You know, I would, I would have gone away, too. Yeah, honestly, I, I don't disagree with it at all. Like, you, you, you have to just, you have to be careful. Look at this. He just made one mistake, but then misses the grab. That's one of the few openings you get. Actually, both of them. They both have pretty uh, exploitable grabs if you happen to catch them. Mm -hmm. Oh, not able to get anything else off oh. the mine card. Went for the projectile hit rather than the command grab hit itself. I like the way, once again, how Sinji is just using up B as a get out of escape. Oh, excuse me, get out of jail for the, uh, card each time. Um, I haven't seen him be challenged on it all day today. It's kind of hard to, right? Because you want to. You want to so bad, and then Sinji just makes you feel stupid. Like, it's, oh my god. I actually really like what uh, is doing right there. Just kind of making it look like he might actually do something with those builds. And then at some point, when Sinji falls asleep on it, he's going to get him with a build, but mm -hmm. into an up smash. For sure. And already, ah, oh, I think Sinji was trying to hit the hydrant, maybe to prime it a little bit, but was not able to find it quite yet. Um, you know what? Anytime... That I go through, like, you know, one of my ad libs, I try to say, um, I just end up saying his name instead. Hey, to him. That's what. Oh my god. That, that's what I was talking about. Like, every time. Uh, really? Makes, I hate that name for us. It drives me crazy. I'm gonna start just saying assembly or uncertain or, oh my god, I'm losing my mind. But, anyways, he goes for an option out of shield, gets punished for it. For sure. Right now, Sinji, ooh, able to perfectly angle that Hydra, but, uh, you know, that time they didn't tunnel vision too hard. They were ready for it. They were able to shield on time. Sinji respecting that up B. That is exactly what you have to do. That move has a deceptively low to non-existent amount of end lag. All right, something I just got to point out outside of the match, I actually really do like how much attention to detail Sakurai and company put into this. Because that parry with the wooden shield, it's just so cool. It's all the extra details. Yeah, I just in. noticed that for the first time. What the hell? Yeah, it's actually incredible. The character Wait, design they do in this is is yeah, whenever uh, Steve parries, the wooden shield shows up. Oh yeah, yeah, it's like those little teeny tiny things, you know. That's that's what added flavor to the game. Yep, and we were able to talk about that the entire time. I purposely did that monologue because guess what? Nobody died in that time frame. <laughs> Up throw just... might do it. It's not gonna do yeah. it just yet. <laughs> if you think anybody is gonna be dying at a reasonable amount of time, you are sorely mistaken, my friend. Um, it's just, it's just simply not happening. Wow, that Z drop bell is menacing. It's out there for so long. You just have to respect what? it. Sinji getting bounced around like a little basketball. 
Oh my goodness. How, man? Like, he just make some moves on the court. Dunk him, dunk on him, please. 161%. That, you know what? <laughs> the car that's off to the side. That was I got to $20 be on a game five. I I, I, th I think, I'm, you know, my, my body and soul is telling me that I was going to win this and they're going to make us go through all, you know. We, 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 we're here to feel something. I'm not, you know? I'm, don't, oh, you're dead. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, has possibly one stock still left to play with, but if you ever wanted to do it, utilize that diamond weapon of course sure. and respectfully giving Sinji the room as we've said all night don't go directly at Sinji while he's holding the Galactica oh, Sinji has a 20% lead that's it he has no incentive to ever approach again just rolling past all of these projectiles he has a defensive option on the ready I have to say his mentality is to be able to still deal with mine cards at this stage of the game I would have been running into it and just said I'll deal with it later at this it's point it's a minute left at that too 40 40 seconds left. You have only 39%. You can easily get this damage on board, but Sinji is now starting to win on all of these out of shield options. This is getting rough for all, all of a sudden. Oh my goodness, but being stuck in a corner again, Steve is such a dangerous position to be in. 30 seconds left, and there's still a bell with diamond weapon in hand. Sinji could possibly lose this. Why did the Hydra plays come careful. back? Why did the Hydra. <laughs> 20 seconds it. left. It's like New Year's. We're looking for the party at the end of the road, but there could possibly be a spoiler unless I was finally able to find some way to take it out. But 10 seconds left. You have to put on that much damage outside of getting the KO. Uh, Sinji no. just going in. <gasps> Sinji going for it all. Oh! <laughs> yeah, One no, second left. It. And that's it. Oh my oh god. My god. <laughs> wow. Too bad nobody took that bet with me. They would have been able to make $20. Oh my goodness. Oh jeez. Oh buddy. What an incredible set. What a ridiculous incredible match. Incredible is a good way to put it. Um, yeah. Yeah, those are the words I'll, those are my choice words. Those are your choice use. words. Um, um. So yeah, we got, we got grand finals coming up next with uh, Sinji versus John Numbers, a Xeno classic for sure. Absolutely nothing is out of place here. I swear I am still here. Nothing is going, nothing's wrong. I'm not trying to hide or anything, I swear.